voices of him okay and that's because god will always bear witness through his servants he has a way of speaking through many what he's saying so that his people are not without a witness now there might be some seasons of grievous hardship especially in nigeria there might be some seasons of grievous hardship that's what the lord told me the lord gave me this word in december last year that there might be some seasons of grievous hardships especially in nigeria but he said however multiple opportunities will emerge in the midst multiple opportunities will emerge in the midst Hello beloved, welcome back to Patrick Machane. I brought you an interesting video from Apostle Jonathan and this is what the man of God has for the nation of Nigeria. He says that there will be a chaos in Nigeria this 2024 and mind you this prophecy was given in the month of December 2023 and this is what God has revealed to him consigning 2024 and he urged to say it. He wants the world to know, the nation of Nigeria to know because this chaos is going to happen in Nigeria especially and he says that in the mid in the midst of that chaos there's going to be financial breakthrough and he explained more he talked more on finances and forests and all that i'm not going to talk much i just want you to watch the video so that you hear what the man of god has to say and please don't forget to subscribe comment like share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content and don't forget to turn on the post notification so that you get notified whenever we upload a new video let me not waste your time here's the video guys voices of him okay and that's because god will always bear witness through his servants he has a way of speaking through many what he's saying so that his people are not without a witness now there might be some seasons of grievous hardship especially in nigeria there might be some seasons of grievous hardship that's what the lord told me the Lord gave me this word in December last year that there might be some seasons of grievous hardships, especially in Nigeria. But he said, however, multiple opportunities will emerge in the midst. Multiple opportunities will emerge in the midst. And then God showed me how that in Genesis chapter 7 verse 17 to 18, when you read it, you'll discover that the flood waters that destroyed the earth was what elevated the ark. Did you hear what I said? Good. So, the same thing that is killing people and making people to suffer, as we open our eyes to see it not, not as a disaster, but as an opportunity, and we cash in by the wisdom of God, that's the same season where his people will be elevated yes the bible says when men say there is a casting down you shall say what good so you take that down this year let's depend on god though. i'm seeing what looks like a chart this is stock exchange and I'm seeing a lot of losses crashing of businesses here and there this year don't be surprised if you begin to hear measures of companies or companies being sold are you hearing what I'm saying I wish we had time I would have gone further for those of you who trade Forex or crypto but since you have not brought any seed to me I will not give you Amen. If you like, go and say, ah, he's looking for money. You know, from last year now, ministers are already trending online. Anything you say, so I don't, I don't care. I didn't mean you had brought seed from that your trade. I would have given you the expo. But since you are eating it alone, ensure you die. <laughs> Nobody's dying this year. <laughs> now, because of that word I gave, about grievous seasons of hardships but multiple opportunities in the midst this is a word for us god said this will be the year of the josephs i've been saying this since last year some of you 
must have been hearing me this year will be the year of the Josephs now listen listen to this one what it means is the wisdom of financial prudence and proactive measures in the face of opportunities that's what I mean that Joseph there is a code so we will excel in the midst of the hardship that may come through financial prudency and proactive measures in the face of opportunities now you need to go if you don't know what proactive means go and find out it means when you see an opportunity and god has led you take a step immediately you move very swift when it is time to buy a land or buy this business or in invest here why others are dealing dally about about it and you already you know by god that this is what to do you move into it quick and then you realize that one week later that becomes the thriving hub we did a series on financial dominion and we're talking about how to make manage and multiply money we saw the spiritual aspect of it the laws that govern it and then the physical aspect i told you that the spiritual laws make for the supply and the abundance why the natural laws makes for the sustainability and multiplication you because you know god blessed man and creation and said be fruitful and multiply so multiplication now has been seeded into the operation of natural laws so it's a combination of natural and spiritual laws that we call kingdom laws for you to excel in any field that god has planted you hello guys so you are heard what the man of god has said and what is going to happen in 2024 and he says that this year is the year of joseph's in quotes in brackets as you all know what he meant by that is going to be a year of farming and he says that there's something he says that i want you all to pay attention to you can forward back to hear what he says he says that there's going to be a chaos and in the middle of that chaos there's going to be financial breakthrough that when you see you see opportunity you should seize it that companies are going to be sold businesses are going to be sold and he says that in the middle of that some people are going to have financial abundance which if you seize opportunity for a business you should go into it before you know that business has escalated to another level which is going to favor you if you see a land that is being sold for some certain kind of amount if you have the funds you should go for it before you know that land will what way value the value of what you got it so in the middle of crisis there's going to be joy there's going to be harmony for those that are, are going to grab the opportunity and he also speaks into the trading sector as you all know people that are into cryptos and other currencies and people that also trade forest he also is that he has a word for them also that there's going to be a lot of crash and all those things and he also said something jokingly that if you have is because you're not giving him you're not sowing seed that is why he's not going to give you exposed and all those things but he says that there are going to be a lot of topic concerning that later on but those that are trading forex and other currencies they should be careful because there are going to be a lot of crash there will be crashes so we should be careful we should mind the way we trade and all that so if you are into crypto bitcoin trading forex and all those things any currency you should be careful in this 2024 because there will be crash and he made mention of that over and over and over so i urge you to just pay attention and also trade with caution all those things anything you're doing when it comes to them online trading space you should be conscious in this 2024 because this hardship that they are talking about especially in the nation of nigeria men of god god has revealed to them that there will be a lot of crashes there will be a lot of 
like chaos in nigeria so we should be careful and it's just not referring to nigerians alone those are in, in other country if you are into trading you should be careful and all that so guys i'm not going to really talk much but i want to know your opinion your thoughts at the comment section since you have heard what the man of god has to say and what the lord has revealed to him and mind you this prophecy was given in december of 2023 and he wants to speak on it so that people will take caution because as you all know january has started already we are in i think today is 24th i'll be 20 yeah today is 24th of january so the year has already come to an end and i urge us to like gather ourselves together put ourselves together so that we don't like go through this hardship that this man of god has been warning us of or they have been telling us concerning that oh 2024 is going to be a great year but it's going to be a year that a lot of things will go left and right for a lot of people so whatever you're doing in any field you find yourself you should also use like apply sense and all that in it so that you don't fall victim. so guys i just want to know your thoughts at the comment section after hearing what the man of god has to say or after listening to the prophecy he has concerning 2024 let me know your opinion at the comment section below and please if you have not subscribed to patreon my channel what are you waiting for just click the subscribe button there it's free you don't have to pay for it it's free of charge subscribe comment like share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content and don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified whenever i upload a new video because i will be bringing a lot of video your way this period so please guys don't forget to subscribe to be part of this lovely family. I will see you in the next one. Stay blessed.